welcome back, friends, to the Cadaver Club. I'm Ben. Uh, this is going to be a collection update. Bunch of Blu-rays and stuff that I got. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Uh, first up is the S 4K Steelbook. Now, I did not see this in theaters. Unfortunately, just didn't get a chance to get to the theater to watch it. Um, but I have watched it, and it was pretty awesome, guys. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, execution-wise, it was awesome. Thematically, not quite as focused as Get Out, I didn't think, but um, still a really good movie. Yeah, really awesome. You can look for a location visit on that one coming up in the future. Uh, and then a few slashback Saturdays ago, I think it was College Slashers, Andrew Ballina reviewed Pieces. Uh, and I hadn't seen it for a really long time, didn't own a copy of it. So I watched his review and was like, you know what? I need me a copy of Pieces. So I ordered one and this is the Grindhouse releasing edition. It's a pretty nice edition. This is all embossed, embossed everything that's red basically that you see there is embossed. Um, and it is a three disc collection with the soundtrack on uh, CD here. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, and then this is the actual movie here. Pretty cool little booklet there. Uh, it's got some pretty cool disc art here. Awesome. Yep, so that is pieces. And then I also picked up Blood Diner, the Vestron release of Blood Diner. Uh, unfortunately though, it didn't come with the damn slip cover, which sucks because all of my other Vestron releases have the slip cover. Uh, and in fact, um, I also picked up Class of 1999 with the slip cover. Uh, this is a really cool movie. I had never seen it before. Don't know how it slipped past me. Um, you know, in the early 90s, this was basically like right in my wheelhouse. So, uh, just never even heard of it until, uh, much later. So, Class of 99, hadn't seen it, watched it. Um, and it was a pretty fun flick. You know, for me, I, I kind of like these post-apocalyptic, like, future movies um yeah this one's a little bit of like the faculty mixed with terminator uh it was pretty fun and if you like movies from this era the uh, late 80s early 90s man this one really this was a pretty nostalgic watch even though i had never seen it before and then recently of course uh did cherry falls just did a review on that um up in the oakland hills uh, this is a Scream Factory edition. It's pretty cool. You can watch my review if you want to see uh, what I thought about it. But the sort of general short form answer is uh, it was pretty fun, but um, a little too tame for me. Picked up Starry Eyes. Have you seen Starry Eyes? This was a good one, guys. A uh, really cool movie. Pretty good body horror. And this is... Uh, yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people have seen it, but a lot of people, I think, probably haven't seen it. So if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Uh, it's about this struggling actress in Hollywood who's trying to make it. Um, and uh, yeah, she sort of does uh, compromises herself a little bit in her, uh, you know, hunger to make it big. And it ends up being a pretty big compromise, but definitely a good movie. Check it out, Starry Eyes, if you haven't seen it. I recommend it. Uh, and then I saw Jason, Horrific Nightmares JM, review uh, this one recently, The Zero Boys. Um, so I picked it up because he was uh, very positive about it. And I had never seen it. This is the uh, Arrow release. Pretty cool. Uh, this is a fun one. I just watched this, uh, I think, last night. Um, yeah, a fun little uh, sort of sneaky slasher because uh, you don't really think it's going to be a slasher, but then it is. I think he had reviewed it for Slasher Plus, which is the non-conventional slashers. Uh, but yeah, basically about a bunch of sort of survivalist guys 
type guys and being stalked by hillbillies. Pretty cool movie. And as far as Arrow goes, I also picked up Color Boss. Had never seen this one, never heard of it until uh, the Arrow release. Uh, but it was a pretty okay movie, you know? Um, I didn't love it, didn't hate it, uh, but it was pretty cool, sort of like, um, I don't know, sort of like a reality TV experiment um, type of thing where people then get trapped in this house and a little bit of saw stuff, saw type stuff happens. Um, it was interesting, worth a watch, uh, but like I said, I didn't absolutely love it. Pretty good though. It was like um, pretty cool because it like, I think it was 1999 is when this came out. Uh, I can't see anything. Uh, let's just say it was, uh, but anyway, it felt like it was really of that time. Uh, there was like this raver girl in it. <laughs> and I was like, oh man, I knew so many raver girls back in the day, uh, but hadn't seen them in so long. Anyway, worth a watch. And this one, definitely worth a watch. Night of the Creep Scream Factory Collector's Edition. I didn't get the whole bundle, uh, just the standard movie. Um, and I had actually never even seen Night of the Creeps, if you can believe that. Um, which is funny because I actually used to have a Night of the Creeps poster hanging on my wall all through high school. Because uh, you remember the old Fangorias, they had like the posters in them? Well, there was a Night of the Creeps poster uh, with one of the frat boys whose face is totally like defleshed. Uh, and I thought it looked fucking awesome. So uh, yeah, that was up on my wall. But no video stores near me ever carried it, so I didn't get a chance to watch it. Uh, but I have watched it now, and uh, it was really fun. Space zombie creature feature, man. I liked it a lot. Speaking of space creature features, I also picked up the Blob remake. Uh, this is the Umbrella release. Um, nothing too fancy as far as releases go, uh, but this is a really awesome, fun movie. Uh, I remember I really loved it when it came out in the theaters. Uh, the practical effects were awesome and I was like all about that. Um, yeah, super fun movie. So I picked it up. This one, uh, I've been seeing a lot on a lot of people's collection updates just before dawn. This is the Code Red release that just came out. Um, and uh, I had never seen this one, never actually even heard of it. Uh, and it was, it was a fun slasher. Um, I thought it was gonna be a little more brutal than it ended up being, um, but it was still pretty good and the atmosphere there in the forest was really good. Um, some really beautiful scenery. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Not super great, but pretty cool. And I also picked up Shredder. Uh, this is the Scorpion releasing release that just came out recently. Um, still haven't watched it yet. There's a little mini poster there. Uh, but I heard Brad Bronco Juggalo talk some movies. I uh, gave it a very positive review for one of the Slashback Saturdays. Um, and I think uh, Jay Super Awesome also did. And I think Horrific Nightmares Jam also did as well. So. Good enough for those three, good enough for me. Looking forward to checking that one out at some point. And then uh, this is a good one, Honeymoon. Have you guys seen this one? Uh, I saw this one uh, a while ago when it first came out, um, but didn't own a copy of it, so I picked this up because it's such an awesome movie. Uh, really awesome slow burn. Um, if you like slow burns, definitely check this one out. It's fucking rad. Uh, has kind of a little bit of body horror element to it there towards the end. Um, but I will say, yeah, it's a, it's a great slow burn. Um, it's one of these ones where things are sort of like start off kind of innocently, um, just a little off. And then as things progress, they become more and more off until things are really off. Uh, but really good movie. Um, about a couple on their honeymoon. And see that it says a uh, new classic in the tradition of Rosemary's Baby and Invasion of the Body Snatchers. 
That is accurate, guys. This is an awesome movie. Uh, give that one a watch if you haven't seen it. And now it is time that I do a little bit of a horror confession, guys. I have had never seen a Puppet Master movie. What? I know, guys. Um, yeah, just never saw the first one, so I never saw any of the sequels, and uh, the years rolled on until all of a sudden I was old as fuck and had never seen a Puppet Master movie. So I picked up this uh, three movie collection, first three. Uh, I watched the first one. It was pretty fun. Uh, I liked it. I liked the puppet design and the sort of puppeteering effects. Uh, the story is wacky, and I imagine that the uh, sort of, yeah, the mythology here as it goes on and on and on is going to get wackier and wackier and wackier. Uh, you got psychic, like a team of psychics and Nazis and toys and what? Um, but it was pretty fun. I watched the first one. Looking forward to watching the rest of them. And my second confession, guys, I had never seen a Tremors movie. What? Yep, again, one of these things, you know, I never saw the original, so didn't want to watch any of the sequels, so I saw it, and uh, yeah, just never had seen it. But uh, watched the first one so far. This is the five movie collection. And uh, it was pretty awesome. Fun creature feature, you know, Kevin Bacon. Um, yeah, it was a fun movie, so um, I know this is a very well-loved franchise amongst horror people, um, so I'm looking forward to watching the rest of them, though I am also expecting that none of them are going to be as good as the first one. So anyway, uh, that's my collection update, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've seen any of these movies, what you think of them. Um, yeah, I got some good ones, so anyway. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, friendos.